Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing in Tarot. This is Christina, and today's pick a card is Channeled Messages from Your Future Spouse. So this is when uh, we reach out to your future spouse's higher selves, and we channel what they want to tell you, what you need to know. Um, yeah, so let's let's get started with a a deep breath in. You ready? All right, pile one, we have standing firm. Pile two, believe in the magic. Pile three, accepting what is. All right, so take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to, and uh, you know, we'll call in your, your, your people's higher selves. Okay, pile, oh. I messed up. Pile one. Let's get rid of these cards. <laughs> there we go. This is going to be your card. We'll get that later. Let's get the um, tarot and we'll channel messages from the tarot. Okay. Here we go. Page of Swords. The World. Knight of Cups. The Moon. And the Ten of Cups. Those boys are going crazy today. I need to get them calmed down. So I'm going to put you on pause because they've just been barking at everything. And I don't want, when I channel, like, I like to really not get distracted. So give me one second. All right. Here we go. You have learned so much. You've been through a lot. This was a tough life for you. You have chosen to learn many lessons in this lifetime, hard lessons, not easy ones. Let me just tell you how proud of you I am. You have come so far and you have done so well. The most important lesson that you have learned is learned, learning to love yourself. Learning to, um, well, to feel, to feel worthy, to know that you are, you can have whatever you desire because you're worthy of it, because you are a good person, because you've earned it, because you do your best, because you do try to learn and grow. Even when you make mistakes, you do try to do better next time. So you're at a point in your life where well, you're almost ready for me. You're almost there. The cycle is about to end. A new cycle is about to begin. When you get to the point where you truly, truly realize that you are source energy and that you deserve all good things, that's when I'm going to come in. That's when I'm going to come in and make the most romantic offer. One that you do not see coming. One that's going to take you by surprise. You are going to think to yourself, how is it that I have not met you yet? Well, the truth is you have. We've worked many times together in different lifetimes. We are soulmates. We are connected. I am going to give you so much love, so much joy, so much happiness we will share together. The love will be, it has no limits. It has no limits and you will realize that. I can't wait for you to get to this point. I can't wait to come in and be with you and have some shared amazing moments in this lifetime together. We've had many amazing moments in the past and we will again in the future, but it's this lifetime I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to meeting you again, loving you again. All right. Wow. Okay. Nice. Really, really nice. Oh, look, I, as a medium, I channel 
I channel my messages all day long, but when I really specifically get them their words and I allow them to speak through me, ooh, takes a lot. <laughs> it's like so powerful, but you feel I feel it in my body. It's just like when they come in and when the, when they leave, it's like a I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, um, ah, uh, you're in for the love of a lifetime here. I'm so jealous. This is amazing. I can't wait for you to, to have this. Not only are you going to get your love that you want, you know, your romantic love that you want, but you're also going to love yourself enough to know that you deserve this person in your life. And, and, you know, you have to be vibrating on the same level. So this person is an equally good person. So, uh, good for you. Good for you. So, you know, with the moon here, there might be distance between the two of you now, but it looks like you're got, you're getting close. Like you're at the point where you've, you, you might've learned the final lesson or you're getting close to learning the final lesson or something here. Um, because it does feel very near. It feels close. So I'm very excited for you and, and for your person. All right. If, if your love life is going to look like that Ten of Cups, oh, you're in store for a lot of happiness. A lot of happiness. Fair hair. <sighs> Sorry, fair hair woman. Um, I, you know, I don't like to put gender in tarot, so I'm just going to say somebody in the relationship has light hair. It could be you or your person. Um, you know, I want to say your person just because we're channeling messages from them, but it actually can be you. It can be you if you have light hair, right? Beware of greed. What does that mean? All right. I got it. They, so they said that, um, they want you to give, this is kind of like, don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. So it's like, they don't want you to give somebody a chance based on money, whether they have it or whether they don't, you know, they don't want you to date someone because they have money and they don't want you to date somebody because they, or not date somebody because they don't, because I really do feel like the abundance, no matter if they are financially stable or not, will come. Okay. The money will, will play out this. They really, really want you to follow your heart on this one. If you feel a connection with someone, if they are poor as dirt, they, they don't want you to look at that. They want you to follow your heart. Okay. Because again, I think financially you're going to be taken care of in the long run. You're going to have everything you need. So they, that's what I think that's what they're saying. Beware of greed. And if your person comes in with a lot of money, again, we're not going to date them because they have money. We're going to date them because we feel something for them. Cause either way you are going to be financially okay in the long run. All right. So just I keep that in mind with that card. I think that's all they really wanted to tell you was don't block somebody or you know, try and force it with somebody who has money because that's what you, that's what you're looking for. Uh, just don't do it. Follow your heart. Always your heart, not your head. Here we go. Start <laughs> standing. I always I said always, but in this reading, follow your heart. Standing firm. I am noble. I am brave. I am strong. So I I think this is really just speaking to you um, that you have not given up on yourself that you've been knocked down several times in this lifetime, but you haven't given up on yourself. You've stood firm. You know what you want. You know what you deserve. At least now you do. So good for you. This is, again, I think them just saying, we're proud of you. You're being watched by loving eyes. Oh my goodness, how amazing is that? They have their eye on you, whether it's in spirit, you know, their higher self is, is watching you and been watching you and been waiting. Or, you know, it could be somebody you know. This could be somebody you know, because you've got a major surprise here. So this could be somebody you know that takes you by surprise, that 
you know, it, it's a shocking thing for you. But somebody is watching you with loving eyes, not in a creepy way, okay? In a very majestic, magical, amazing way. You are loved. How does that feel? That's got to feel amazing, right? To know how much you are loved. Oh, I'm crying. Your person loves you. Oh, they love you so very much. Nice. Delight. You're going to be delighted by this. This person's going to light you up. They're going to bring you so much joy and happiness. You are just going to love life. And you're going to you're going to be like upset that like oh my goodness, like why couldn't this happen when I was so much younger? Like why did it have to wait so long for you to come to me? Like we could have had so many more years together. Um, because you are just going to be so immensely happy. But you already know the answer, right? You had lessons to learn. You had things you had to accomplish on your own first. But wow. Wow. All right. Nice. Lizard regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. <gasps> Look, that's kind of what like I was feeling, like a survivor kind of... Uh, energy there you go no matter what happens you can adapt embrace your transformation put on your new cloak you are a master of regeneration so how many times did you have to reinvent yourself because obviously you, you must have um, and here you go again you're going you you're going to reinvent yourself again to the point where you are this loving spouse this amazing in love, happily ever after, fairy tale type of love, you're going to regenerate yourself into that person, that person that deserves that. Good for you. Hammer. Rebuilding. We're not going to go with the self sabotage. We're going to go with the rebuilding. You have rebuilt yourself. Again, it's like reinventing yourself, rebuilding yourself. I think you've rebuilt yourself. Plenty of times. I think you've been knocked down plenty of times. I think you've been disappointed and taken advantage of and hurt too many times to count. But you kept rebuilding yourself. You kept picking yourself back up and trying again. Doing the best that you could. And sometimes it was a struggle. And other times it was like, all right, I'll show them how strong I am. You know, and other times it was like, ugh down the well of depression, but you climbed out of it eventually. <laughs> so I feel like you're pretty amazing and they want you to know that that's what they think of you too, that they think you're amazing. They can't wait to be with you. That's, it's nice to feel wanted. Soul cage, rescue, escape, <laughs> or escape captivity and restrictions. That's what you're doing. Um, I think you, I think that's you releasing yourself from your soul cage, but your partner might have something to do with it too. You know, they might show you how, how, how much you can be loved, how much you can accept, right? Cause sometimes it's, it's hard to accept love actually, believe it or not. Sometimes it's hard to do that. So, uh, yeah, that's beautiful. You are, are being freed freed from your cage and uh you have such love here such amazing love so jealous red forgive well who do you have to forgive you all the mistakes that you feel like you've made which you really didn't make any yeah they were all lessons if you change your perspective you'll see you'll see they were important all those mistakes, all those failures, all those times that uh, you allowed somebody to hurt you or take advantage of you. They weren't mistakes. You learned. They were lessons. So do you have to forgive yourself or do you have to forgive somebody from the past, maybe, coming back? I don't know. Um, I think it's more about yourself. I really don't. I, I don't. I don't think it's really anybody else you have to forgive. I think it's just yourself. So, 
Pile one, you are on the right track. You're doing all the right things. And I want to just say I'm so proud of you because you're getting, you're getting there. You're going to get your reward. You're going to get what you've wanted, what you hoped for. And why? Because you deserve it. Because you put the work in. You did it. Nice. Let's pull a few charms. The Lighthouse. So, I'm going to put this down there so I have room. You will be shown the way. Your path will be illuminated. Or this person is just going to light, light the path. And when they come in, you're going to be like, oh my God, I was in darkness this entire time. I did not know it was you. I had no idea, you know, or I had no idea I would feel this way when you came into my life. Like I didn't know what I was missing. You're going to have some like some epiphanies and some light bulb moments and, and you're going to really understand things more, more so than you already do wear your crown because you are royalty you are amazing you're getting your wish look at that so wish upon that star tell the universe what you want a change is coming all right your love life is going to transform look at all this change right the leaves are changing in your favor right you're going to have a new life it's going to be new it's going to be different it's going to be so much better you just have to be, you know, a little bit courageous, a little bit brave, a little bit more, but and enjoy your freedom. Enjoy who you are. Enjoy the the progress you've made. It will get hot. It will get hot. You will have to fan yourself. You will be like, oh, ho, ho, when you realize, um, you know, how uh, steamy uh, you feel toward your person. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, we did get December, which is now, but it, we're cutting it close. Um, so I, I don't know what that means. Um, is, is your, you know, is your person a Sag or a Capricorn? I don't know, but um, December's almost over. I so I, I just feel like the energy is like. Maybe you've learned important lessons here in December that lead you to start this new cycle. I don't know, but it came out, so we we need to figure it out, or you need to figure it out for yourself. <laughs> anyway, Pile One, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things really do help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. All right, Pile 2, if you chose Believing in Magic, then this one is your read. Let's pull some tarot, and I'll channel from them. Hang on. The Sun. Knight of Wands. Justice. Six of Wands. Four of Cups. All right. Here we go. You are my sun. You are my sky. You are my stars. You are my everything. You are my happiness. I adore you. I love you. I can't wait to be with you. You are going to make this life here on earth magical. You are going to make me feel warm and loved and you will be loved right back. It will be more than reciprocated. I am so excited to be with you. You are my person. You, I am so attracted to you physically, mentally, spiritually. You balance me out. You make me want to be a better person. You are just the love of my life. And I don't know how I've lived without you. Because I'm not going to be able to live without you in the future. Now I know that you've uh, been hurt. 
um, by more than one person. I know that you have uh, some, maybe, uh, I want to say abandonment issues. Just know that I'm not going to abandon you, right? And I know that you get bored very easy in this lifetime. I know that you need things to keep you excited, things to keep your spark alive. And although I am not as adventurous as you are or have as much energy as you do, I will promise you that I will do my best to keep up with you, to always give you something to look forward to, and to always excite you, always bring that spark, that spice of life into the relationship. Because you are my key to being successful in this life. You are the secret. You are the balancer. You keep my life in check. You are so valuable to me and so important. I can't wait to share this life with you. Wow. Ooh. When they pull back. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me, I'm trying to balance my energy. Give me a second. Whew. All right. <sighs> it's not, it doesn't hurt or anything like that. It's, it's, uh, it's just so like you, you need to catch your breath when they, when they come in and when they go out. Um, cause the energy is so strong when I channel, like they, when they, when I channel all the time, but when they speak through you, it's when, when you really allow them in, it's like my whole body, it's like full body chills kind of like sort of, I don't know how to describe it. It's not exactly that feeling, but I'm still feeling it. Yeah. See, y'all need to release some, some more of that energy. All right. So, wow. <laughs> um, pretty amazing. So they feel like you are like their world, their everything, their, you're their gift. Um, they're going to really appreciate you. They're really going to treat you nice. So, um, yeah, you know, I have a little bit of a concern about this boredom card, this four of cups card on the end. Um, but they're recognizing it. They're recognizing that you do need a venture, that you do need, um, you know, some kind of excitement in your life from time to time. So they see it. Um, but I do have a little bit of concern over that, um, that they might not be as exciting as you want them to be. Um, but this, you know, this is your future spouse and they, they promise to do their best. So, uh, yeah, maybe you'll have to step up a little bit in that, like by saying to them, Hey, you know, like, um, we haven't gone out in a while. Can you know, you know, on Friday, can we, can we go out and get drinks or can we go somewhere this weekend or can we do something like, can we plan a trip? Can we just, you know, it, it, it instead of making like it always be on your person's shoulders, maybe you need to step up a little bit from time to time. Okay. So that's all I've, you know, that's the only concern I was feeling from it. Sorry. Hang on. It does take a lot out of you. It really does. But anyway, let's keep going with some cards here. Stepping into a new experience. All right. So what does that mean? Um, uh, this, uh, this person is probably somebody that you, um, is, is not the usual type of person that you date. And I think that's why it works. I think that's why you're going to fall for them. Because they're going to be like more reliable, more dependable, more sturdy, where you probably date people who have your energy, somebody, people who are high energy, who need excitement. You probably date people like that and not to be, you know, I'm not trying to put you down or anything, but sometimes people like that aren't always, um, 
as reliable or dependable or sturdy because they're always looking for the next excitement, right? Um, and I'm not, if that doesn't resonate with you particularly, um, you know, that's okay. Let, let's, you know, I'm not trying to put anybody down here or judge anybody. What I'm just trying to say is um, sometimes to have somebody that balances out that energy, that always needing excitement and looking for adventure, somebody who is more steady, somebody who is more reliable to bring you back down from the clouds, you know, somebody who's more grounded than you are to balance you out is actually kind of the perfect combination. So I do really love this connection for you. Obviously, your person's just going to adore you. Um, but I think they're going to be really good for you, too. But but back to the card and stepping into a new experience. I don't think you've dated anybody like this. I think you've been dating players, to be honest with you. And I'm not calling you a player. <laughs> I'm not. But I am some or not maybe not necessarily a player, but somebody who's always looking for the, the next exciting thing. So uh, this person is not looking for the next exciting thing. They're looking at you and they only want you. And, they, and yeah, they will be happy to share exciting experiences with you, but they're, they don't need it because all they need is you, which is going to make you feel really, truly special. So I really think that this is a perfect relationship for you. Um, you know, and you're going to be a little more grounded. You are going to get back to the basics. You're going to understand what's important in life because this is person's going to show you what's important to them. Maybe, you know, financial stability, having a nice home, having a nice job, having a nice family, having, having all these nice things. They're going to show you that it, those things are important to them. Therefore, they're going to become important to you too. Just you're not going to lose your spark, though. You're just not. You're always going to have your spark. So, again, it makes it a perfect combination, in my opinion. Believing in magic. True magic is abounding in my life. Yeah, I think you're going to meet your perfect person. This is going to be magical for you. And it might be a little different. But it, I think you should um, welcome it and enjoy it. This person's going to ground you a little bit. Everyone is doing their best or vice versa. You know, roles can be reversed. I pick up on energy. So maybe it's if you're more grounded, then your person's going to be more high energy. Okay. And they're going to bring out the, the excitement in you. They're going to make you have a little bit more fun. Right. They're going to give you some adventure. So either way, it works. Everyone is doing their best. So, yeah, I just I just think that this is, you know, it's speaking to, like, you know, things might not always be perfect. You guys are going to be different. You guys aren't always going to agree. But if you did, life would be boring, right? If everything was, like, if you, like, say you married a yes person, somebody who just told you yes all the time. Yes, yes, yes. There was no contrast. That would get boring it would it's just it's just like why up in heaven or wherever we go I, I you know I was raised Catholic I still call it heaven um, when we turn back to source energy we um, you know everything's love and light there is no anger there is no excitement there is no passion there's no bitterness there's no nothing but love that's why we come and want experiences. That's why we become physical. Because we want to experience different things. We want to learn. We want to do our part to expand the universe and co-create by learning, learning being physical so that we could create more when we're not. Anyway. Um, I just think this is a perfect combination. I just do. Miracles. You're going to feel like uh, this person is your miracle. Like you found your perfect person. You will. You will. And you guys will, will create miracles together, I think. I think, you you know, if you're young enough and in that stage where you want to have babies, you'll probably have babies together. And I, I just think you're going to build a really stable life together. But a fun slash stable life 
It's a perfect balance. It's just what you need. Squirrels, always prepare. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Yeah, I kind of feel that way from you. Now, if that's not resonating with you, then it's resonating with your person. But that I, I feel you as the, that Knight of Wands, and that's who I, I see. They, they work hard, but they also play hard. They want that excitement. Your cheerful and fun disposition, yes, is a blessing to everyone, especially your person. Don't let life's distraction take you off course. So there you go, where you need somebody to ground you, right? Because sometimes we fly in the, in the clouds when we're this high energy. Make a plan for the future. Life will give you all you need. Yeah, the universe is giving you your person. You, Because they're gonna, you're going to be able to plan for the future with your person. Because they're more stable. They're more grounded. So perfect. Sometimes these are so synchronistic. The Phoenix, new phase, rekindling, renewed transformation, growth. All right, so again, I think this is talking about you. Uh, didn't they say that you've been through some things, that you've been through a lot, and you've had some issues to work through? You're rising from the ashes. Nobody's going to keep you down. You know, this person is going to make you rise and be better and do better and become the person you're always meant to be. The crane bag. Yes, this person is going to be very valuable to you, very important to you. The crane bag for a mermaid is um, like uh, it's like a bag made out of I have no idea what because I'm going by myth and legend here. Um, I haven't been in contact with a mermaid, so I don't I can't answer these questions a hundred percent. But from my understanding is that a crane bag is a bag of some sort that holds a mermaid's um, special things, their favorite things, things that they find, um, you know, maybe gems or jewels or crystals or uh, certain shells or, I don't know, stuff that they hold dear from that they put energy into and that they receive energy back. So that's why I really think they're mostly crystals but because um, they receive energy from them. But it's a, it's their it's the bag of their their stuff, their important things, things that they hold dear to them, things that are special to them. So when you get the crane bag, it just means for me that your your person's special to you. It's they're gonna be you're gonna hold them close to your heart. They're gonna mean something. Last card is feast. Slow down and celebrate yourself. There you go. Sometimes when you're high energy, you don't always take time to really embrace life's moments. Like really celebrate them, really feel them, really savor them. You know, sometimes you're you're like, yeah, we're doing something exciting. Ugh, what else are we going to do? When it's like, slow down. Let's savor this moment. Let's really enjoy it. We're having a great time right now. This is amazing. This is beautiful. Let's just savor this. Your person's going to do that for you. They're going to show you how to savor the good things. To really enjoy life. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let me pull you some charms. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, let's move this just down there for now. Blossom and bloom. All right, so this relationship is going to grow into something amazing, something beautiful. You're going to have so many reasons to smile. They're going to put a smile on your face. You are their sun. You you know you're going to feel that happiness, that warmth, that growth together, that blossoming. Here's your balance. There's your justice card, you know, where where you balance them, they balance you. It's magical. Here's your unicorn, like something that's just amazing. Here's your commitment, tying the knot. Here's your abundance. Lots of good things. Here's your apple, learning. You guys are going to learn with each other. You're going to learn and grow together. 
you're going to get an Easter egg here to uh, so you uh, uh, it, an Easter egg, it's a hint, right? It's a sign. It's a sign that this is your person. You're gonna see those hints. You're gonna, you're gonna pick up on them, that you know that this is the person for you. They're gonna be very loving, very nurturing towards you, right? And you just have to be a little brave and take a chance on this person. But I think you will. Well, I know you will. This is, this is your future spouse, so you will. So anyway, that is what I have for you, Pile 2. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose accepting what is, then this one's going to be your reading. Uh, we'll come back to that. I'm going to channel from the tarot. So hey, let's get those. Oh, they're starting to come in. Queen of Cups, the Star, oh, Ten of Pentacles, the Great Cards, the Emperor, Nine of Cups, oh, give me a minute. Whew. All You're my wish come true. I'm going to be your wish come true. You are... This can't be more perfect. This is the perfect relationship. This is everything that you've always wanted. Always everything that you never thought you could have. You're going to get to a point in your life. And this is not going to be... When you were very young, this is going to be uh, when you're a little bit older. After you see everybody else around you starting to get married, that's when you're going to meet me. Um, because uh, you are very independent. You are, you know what you want. You're not going to settle for less. There are certain things in life that are important to you. And, uh... I'm going to come in and shock you, just rock your world, because I'm going to be everything that you've always dreamed about, everything that you've always wanted. You are not going to be able to, you're going to be in shock and disbelief, like, is this too good to be true? That's how you're going to feel at first. I am your wish come true. And you are mine. You are mine. I feel the exact same way. I never thought I would meet somebody like you. You're different. You're unique. You are special. And you are going to take my breath away. You are going to uh, love me as much as I love you. We are going to nurture each other. And really, really... Um, find true happiness something that you never thought you'd be able to find wow all right sorry they're pulling out of me and i need a second If I was on camera right now, you'd be like, what the heck is going on? Is she like the exorcist? Because my body is like jerking and <laughs> moving, my head's moving. And um, it's not painful at all. It's just, it's just crazy. It's a whoosh of energy. It's, it's like these powerful waves washing over you that knock you down. It's, it's crazy, but it's exhilarating at the same time. <sighs> hey, look. Yawning is another release, so I, that's how they, I release a lot of energy through yawning. You hear me yawning all the time on my videos, and it's embarrassing, and I hate it, but it's how I release energy, so. Okay. <laughs> um, pile three. Wow, that was like some specific information, right? Like, this is, um, 
that. This is important. I kind of feel like you, you're going to be a bachelor or a bachelorette for a while. And you're going to be like, um, you know, I really want my person, but I, I, I just don't think my person's here on earth, right? That's going to be your mentality for a while until this person comes in. Um, and you are going to be in the shock, uh, in for the shock of your life because your person is absolutely perfect for you. They're exactly what you want. And I think that what you want may differ from what other people your age want, right? But, um, yeah, this is, this is, uh, uh, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Plenty of material things. So you guys are going to be, uh, Okay, financially, abundance will be yours, so, and so is happiness. Look at that. I mean, this is the true Ten of Pentacles here. It's, it's, it's love, it's happiness, it's material, plenty of material things, it's joy, it's bliss. I mean, really, really amazing. I mean, this is beyond the fairy tale. This is beyond what you can actually dream of. Like, this is everything. Super jealous, <laughs> super jealous, but very happy for you. But here, let's see. Accepting what is. I accept and embrace my inner majesty. All right, so didn't I say something along the lines that um, you're different? You're unique or something? I think that's what they said. Um, yeah, like you are special. You're special, and maybe you thought you would never find somebody that would fit fit that, who would accept your uniqueness, who would accept your weirdness or your freakiness or whatever you are. <laughs> um, you have somebody who's going to accept you and love you. And, and look at the blue rose. The blue rose is, oh, it emits such powerful energy. I don't know. Maybe that should be your sign. If you see a blue rose, you know your person's close. I would tell the universe that. Tell them. Say, universe, all my angels and my guides, divine, whoever's listening, show me a blue rose when my person's close, when I'm going to meet my person. This way, you're not totally taken by surprise. You know somebody's close at hand. Because blue roses are very rare, right? I don't know if they're natural. I don't know if you, they grow naturally or not, but... Um, you know, if you see a blue rose, like on a card or on TV or, you know, in like, you know, a fake flower or something, um, you know, your person's close. That'd be exciting. I think you should do that. Anyway, it's not as if you need anyone. There you go. See, you are, you are unique. You are special. You don't need anyone in this life. You are um, someone who are, is more than capable of taking care of themselves, taking care of business and, and loving yourself enough that you, you don't feel you don't feel less than because you don't have a person in your life. You might feel lonely at times, right? You miss compan you would miss companionship and miss um, having somebody to share love with, but you don't need them because you are like strong and independent. Are you a Capricorn? I'm, I'm getting really strong Capricorn <laughs> vibes. Um, I don't know, but here we go. Transformation. Yeah, when this person comes in, your life is going to be transformed. Your life is going to be completely changed. You're going to be like, uh, I thought I was going to be alone forever. <laughs> now I'm dealing with this. What did I get myself into? No, you were... You are going to be so head over heels and so infatuated. You're going to be like in shock of your own self. Pronghorn action. Now's the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen sense will lead you to success. All right. So I think this is saying like when you get your sign when you know your person's here take action like when you find your person like uh jump on that that person's special okay i'd still look for a blue rose i really would 
Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. It says perfect. How perfect can that be? It says perfect. Your person's going to be perfect for you. We already knew that. But how nice to get that validation. Ah, oh, I'm so in love with you, for you. <laughs> Whatever. I feel good for you. Visions. Psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing, out-of-body travel. All right. So maybe you you are visualizing your person. Maybe you've seen them in your dream. Maybe you, you know that they're in your energy and you're calling them forth. Uh, pay attention to those dreams. If they give you inspired action, if they tell you something that you should go do, um, you know, take them up on it. All right, we have the throne. Your potential is endless. Yeah, we kind of know that, right? With this with this relationship, like you guys could take it to new heights. You could do anything. You guys can conquer the world. You guys are amazing. Um yeah, this relationship's going to have a lot of potential. And you're going to be very very happy. Let's pull you some charms. That's crazy. All right. You are protected. So this relationship is protected. Sorry, my daughter just came home. You have the keys to success. So very successful union, marriage, whatever. Marriage. Here's the not dying. Um, but we know this is your future spouse. So we knew that. Uh, be courageous. Be brave right when make the move when this person comes in like do what you're you're uh, inspired to do and just shine be the star that you are because this is going to have you leaping for joy like so happy yes you're used to being independent and on your own but um this person's going to bring balance to your life they're going to give you that companionship that you've been missing and uh it's just going to fulfill you even more Right. But I, we know how capable you are. We know that you are a little warrior and and uh, well, not little, maybe, but um, I, I say little because the bees are little. But um, you are a warrior. You could you could, you know, make it on your own if you had to. But why when this is here available to you? Right. Let's try we got in September. So I don't know. if uh, I don't know. I don't know what September means. Maybe it's somebody's birthday or, you know, maybe you're a Virgo or your person is. I don't know. Um, or Libra, maybe. But that is what I have for you, Pile 3. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light.